Hi, I'm Daryl Baskin. I'm a retina specialist in San Antonio. I developed a brief mnemonic for the differential diagnosis of peripheral neovascularization of the retina, and I wanted to share it with you. Many times when you see neovascularization of the retina, uh, it's typically due to things like proliferative diabetic retinopathy, retinal vein occlusions, branch retinal artery occlusion, things like that, the, the more common entities. But for test-taking purposes and for many patients, there are a lot of other diagnostic entities that should be considered. So this is a mnemonic I came up with a few years ago, and it's called the Fires of Thor. And there's a little picture with it. And the F stands for Fever, Familial Exudative Vitreal Retinopathy. The I stands for Incontinentia Pigmenti. The R stands for Retinopathy Prematurity. The E stands for Eels Disease. The S stands for Sickling Hemoglobinopathies. The T in Thor stands for Talc Retinopathy. H is for hyperviscosity syndrome, such as Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, monogamopathy of unknown significance, or multiple myeloma. The O stands for ocular ischemic syndrome, and the R is for retinoschisis. So Fires of Thor uh, has helped me out quite a bit and has also helped me to know which labs or imaging modalities to order next. Wide field fluorescing angiography is extremely helpful in these cases. Other things to think about are carotid cavernous fistula, aortic arch syndrome, sarcoidosis, retinal vasculitis or uveitis, chronic retinal detachments, melanoma and retinitis pigmentosa, also IRVAN, idiopathic retinal vasculitis, aneurysms, and neuroretinitis. I will say in some of these cases, such as retinitis pigmentosa, it may be more likely that, they, that the patient would have a vasoproliferative tumor rather than simply neovascularization elsewhere or peripheral. So that pretty much sums it up. Fires of Thor, if you keep that in your back pocket, it'll serve you well. Thanks very much for your time.